Even horse vets like Sally Kingsley, who works in the area near Windsor Castle in Berkshire, are feeling the effects. We've been really lucky in this area. We haven't actually got any case of foot and mouth in the vicinity, um, but obviously it's had knock-on effects. So we're all pretty busy at the moment. Foot and mouth is um, basically a viral disease of cloven-footed animals, so cows, sheep, pigs, and uh, any other weird and wonderful cloven-footed animal. I just thank my lucky stars that I'm a horse vet. Horses don't get foot and mouth. But today, she's calling on a horse who has been affected by the disease. Windsor Great Park is closed, so there's nowhere for the local horses to burn off their excess energy. And with many of them confined to quarters, there's been a spate of minor injuries. Here's Oliver. Um, he was kicked on Monday, two days ago, um, just on his hock. It seemed very clean at the time. It was a puncture wound. Um, but it's just come up literally overnight. He was fine yesterday. The yard was quarantined. We couldn't take them out at all. And I think this is why they're going out in the fields and having a bit of a hoolie, which is how this has happened. This fluid, that's is that just where you've been washing it? Yeah, we've washed it off the coals this morning. Your flat joints and bones are here. Yeah. OK, so he should have, should have missed those joints, yeah. which is obviously the worrying thing. I think, I think that you're going to be lucky. I don't think he's got a joint infection. I think he's got a raging lymphangitis, an infection of the tissues, as you say, a puncture wound set up this infection and cellulitis in his leg um, and it should settle down on the antibiotics that I give right. you. But on closer examination, Sally discovers signs that the injury could be much more serious. I've just applied some digital pressure just to make sure that no fluid's coming out and we have actually got some, some yellow, unfortunately. That could just be inflammatory fluid. We're not going to take any chances. I'm going to take some with me and look at it under a microscope. That's not such good news, OK, if we're getting this fluid. I don't know if you can see that. It's just this yellow fluid that's coming out. There's quite a lot of it. It's quite hard to, to work out exactly what that is yet because joint fluid is usually very clear and stringy, and this is like liquid. With a normal cellulitis and lymphadenitis, you would not get this. And that's why I've been quite quite strong in, my, in feeling this area, and I've probably poked and prodded it more than he'd like me to but there's no way we're going to take any risks. And in view of this liquid, and, and depending on the test results, when I get back and have a look at it, this horse, just from this, will almost certainly be going for surgery. For now, Oliver will be put on a course of antibiotics. A joint injury could be a cruel stroke of luck for his owner, Catherine Hayes, as Oliver has just recovered from a serious yeah. spinal problem. He's had x-rays and scans and just so much done, but he just all through it, he's just been an absolute star. I've had him for two years, but I've probably had about 18 months of, of vets and, and everything, so uh, it's him to be kicked again, and um, if it is a joint injury, it's just a bit of a blow, that's all. <laughs> so we're just getting him right. <laughs>